It'd be better for you to see with that, this one off. No. <clears throat> I'm taking a picture right now. How long do you think I should leave it on there? No. If you've got it zoomed in, I don't Oh, wait a minute. I better start over. He didn't have it on while he was taking pictures. He didn't have voice on. These are pictures of Jack and Joanne in South Dakota, where they were born, up in Pa Pesto. That's a picture of it there in the bottom center. <clears throat> pa Pesto means big hill in Indian. And uh, that's the house that, in the top center that Joanne was born, where John was born, also directly below it and to the right of that one. The last pictures we had were when we had just two children. Now we have three in the center, uh, Jack and Joanne and Kay, and at the side, then Denny came along, and there's a picture of Dennis on the other side, and then there were four, so we have two pictures on here where there are four. And those were taken after we moved to Omaha and after we moved out to uh, 7822 and North 36th Street. Then we'll go on and have the individual families and their children. This is our son, Jack, when he graduated from high school. And the picture on the left is when he graduated from... High school? High school. I wasn't sure. And he's Captain McGowan. That's it. He's about 18 years old. He was about 18 and... That was his cap and gown. Okay. This is a uh, picture of our oldest son, Jack, and his wife, June, and they're holding their firstborn, Gregory. And the next picture, I think that was probably taken before this first one. And that one isn't love grand. And the next one is a picture of Jack and June, and I think it was pretty close to their 40th anniversary. And the two pictures are below are Jack and June with all of their children on their 40th anniversary. And the other picture is of their two daughters, Kathy and Christy, serving the anniversary cake. More to follow. These are a few of uh, Jack and June's oldest son, Greg, as he was growing up. In the top center picture is a picture of Jack and June's uh, first son, Gregory, and his wife, Lori. And uh, at the uh, right-hand side is a picture of their children, uh, Benjamin, Sabrina, and Jamie. And uh, down below is a picture, a family picture, with Lori and Greg and Ben, and Sabrina, and Jamie. That's the other one. Got that one. And 
And the left-hand side is a picture of Jamie in his high chair when they came to visit. And right down below that is a picture of Jamie's grandfather when he was a baby sitting in the same high chair. So you know how old that is. Which one did I miss? What's that? This one. You say what it is. I can't see mm -hmm. it. I can't see it. The top right hand. What is it? Oh, it's Greg and... This is a picture of uh, Jack and June's older daughter, Christy, and her husband, Scott, Wu Bags. Um, the top three pictures are of them at their wedding. And below that is uh, Scotty, their son. And in the center is uh, their daughter, Scotty's sister, grown-up sister, Katrina, and Nick and Cody. Of course, that's our first great-great-grandson and Jack's great-grandson. And below that, their pictures is a picture of Katrina when she was small and her... Uh, her <laughs> and Eric. <laughs> and on um, the other side is a picture of uh, Cody and his uncle Scotty. That's about it. That's, and above, above Cody and Scotty is a picture of Katrina. Is that all of them? Battery's dead. Oh. Just in time. Well, it seemed to me like um, this is Jeffrey, Jack and June's youngest child, and he sort of had a way of growing up. And um, after he was confirmed and grew up a little bit more, he decided to become a minister. And at the uh, college in Norton, he met this lovely girl named Kathy Meyer. And in the center, that's a picture of Kathy and Jeff, uh, when they got married. And then along came the, pick, the twins, uh, Jesse and Joel. And to the right of them is Maggie, who came along next. And down below, we have the four generations, Grandpa Ed and Grandpa Jack, Jeffrey and Joel. And up in the other corner, we have the whole fa uh, Jeff's whole family. Very good looking family. We're very proud of them. That's all, isn't it? Well, we have an extra little picture on there of uh, Joel and Jessica sitting on a blanket in our backyard advertising Cheerios. 
and another one sitting in the middle of Grandma's kitchen floor playing with the skillet. We have lots of other pictures, but not enough room. That's it. I wonder who that pair of legs belongs to. You would. I think your grandfather's a leg man. These are pictures of our, of three of our kids <coughs> going from left to right, and there's Jack, Kay, and Joanne, and in the rocking chair of Joanne and Jack again. And the following pictures will be of Joanne and her family. That's great. These are all pictures of um, Joanne and her brothers and sisters as she was growing up. We have a picture of her birthplace in there, which was our honeymoon cottage. And uh, to the left of that is the picture of Pao Pesto, where the county where Joanne was born. And Pao Pesto means big hill. And all of the rest of them are just pictures as she was growing up. More to follow. That's it. This is our oldest daughter, Joanne. Don't you think she's good looking? We do. Well, you're gonna have to say that about all of them now. It's your high school graduation. This is when Joanne got married. And the other picture of me taking her down the aisle. She met this young man in high school by the name of Robert Wheeler. And the next pictures will be of their family. You through with that? Talk. This is a uh, picture of our daughter Joanne and her three children, Mike and Marty and Kelly. Now we'll show you some pictures of their family. This is a picture of uh, Joanne's children and their children. It's Mike in his uniform. The next picture is of Kelly and Jim and their two children, Tommy and Taylor. And to the right of that is Marty and his family, Courtney, Patty, Courtney, and Stephanie. And down below we have Taylor and Tommy and Joanne's three granddaughters, Courtney and Stephanie and Taylor. Brief to the point. I don't know which pictures belong in which. Friends. Uh. 
these are pictures of her Six. daughter Kay when she was growing up. And when she graduated from high school. What? She graduated from high school. That's her high school graduation. The picture in the top left corner is where she graduated from high school. The one below her is Below that is a picture of her. And the larger picture in the middle is her brother, Jack, and sister, Joanne. And the rest of them are pictures of her and her brothers and sisters. The one in the bottom right corner must have been a birthday party. The way it looks from here. Anyway, it's a bunch of kids. Ready? Yeah. This is our daughter, Kay, and um, her former husband, Kenneth Gamble. She met him at uh, Sites Construction, where she worked as a secretary. He also worked there. And the next picture is of her and her mother and her dad and her grandmother and her little nieces and she is attempting to kiss Gregory. You ready? Good job. Oh. Here we are again. This is a picture of uh, Joanne's or Kay's children, and that's on the corner are um, Vicky and Mark at their wedding, and beside them is a picture of uh, Kimberly and her dance costume, and picture down below, real cute, and the center top is. How can I do it? That in the center. Top middle is uh, Sherilyn. A uh, picture of Sherilyn and uh, Dan's wedding at our house. A very memorable day because it rained all day. We had to move the arch in the house. And it turned out fine. Just have to remember it as a rainy day. And underneath there, we didn't have much room for all the children, so. They're lined up under the table. And at the right hand side, picture of Sharon and Dan's two children, Beth and Nathan. Down below is also a picture of Beth and Nathan in his ball costume or outfit. Can't see the other one. And down below is a picture of Nathan holding Beth or squeezing her to death. I don't know which. That's about all we could get on there.
This is a picture of our youngest son, Dennis, in his Navy uniform. And on the left-hand side is a picture of his family with Jody. And lower is Kathy and uh, Connie. These are Denny's children. Leslie on the left, Connie in the center, Eric on the right, and Eric on the bottom. These are a few pictures of Dennis from the time he was a baby and Tell you as pretty well grown up. You can see for yourself all the stages. Okay, can you say? Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. You know, I forgot this one. These are some pictures of Dennis and his children and his grandchildren. Uh, starting from the left, we have a picture of Dennis. Next picture of Leslie and Eric. The next one is of Timmy, his grandson, and Connie and Amanda on the corner. And that little guy down there on the left-hand side, next row, is Eric when he was a couple days old. Next one he grew up a little bit and is a Cub Scout. And uh, another picture of him packing his suitcase. I don't know if he's leaving home or not. Next picture is of, of his grandchildren. And Eric on the, on the left down below. And his grandchildren in the picture, Amanda, Alyssa in the back of Tim. And that is uh, Amanda when she was um, confirmed. And on the other corner is his daughter, Connie. Very good. You through? Kitty? Okay. Well, there was an old lady that lived in the shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. So she put them all in the living room and took a picture of them. That is our gang in the center. There was a few that didn't get into that picture. So we have uh, Kay and Dennis on the left-hand side. We have um, Mike and Kathy on the right-hand side. And... Kay, uh, Joanne and her family below, some of those didn't get in, and Kay, uh, Sherilyn's uh, family down below. Uh, I think that covers the majority. Right? Why, mm -hmm. get back here, I can't see what the pictures are. These are some pictures of uh, our church, which we have attended for 50 years. We started in the old church in the uh, upper left-hand corner. Then um, in uh, 51, we started building the new church. 
Uh, one picture of it down below on the left hand side and and a picture on the right hand side by the dedication picture it's a picture of the front of the church at Christmas time when the wreath was lit up down below confirmation class uh, Jack and June and Jeffrey and below that we have uh, Mike and Marty and Kelly. Kelly was confirmed at the same time. And I can't see it. Okay. I don't know what's down there. Corner. In the corner. Bottom corner, inside of the church. Um, the other pictures are just some um, pictures of the interior of the church. Um, we had what we called a pew fund. And everyone worked really hard to get the money uh, to buy those new pews. Otherwise, we had we sat on folding chairs. And then at the uh, right-hand side is the a picture of the new church. And um, inside the story of the dedication. Below that is a picture of the old, um, always was called the Mormon house, which was uh, raised years later to make the addition on our church. All of our children went to church there, and most of our grandchildren attended church there. So it's very important to us. You think I could make a speech? Mm -hmm. You're right. <laughs> okay. This is sort of a conglomeration of are different houses. We start out with the house on the um, upper left-hand corner. That's where uh, Grandpa Ed was uh, raised. That was his uh, folks homestead house. And the next one under that is a picture with my mother and my older sister and brother. That was where I was born because uh, that house stayed with us until I was married and and moved away from home. We just kept adding rooms. The next house is uh, our honeymoon shack. And that's where uh, Joanne was born. And Joanne and Jack lived with us in that house. Jack was born in Lyman County, South Dakota. Joanne was born in Trip County or Pa Pesto, and the house below that is where his folks lived, and also his brother. And in the center, I can't see it. In the center is the um, picture, uh, backyard picture of the house where we lived for 50 years, and all you children, our children, grew up. Next one below that is. Grandpa Ed's uh, schoolhouse, where he went, attended high school. The mm -hmm. one below, in Witten, South Dakota. One below that is uh, high school where uh, Grandma Vera attended high school. It had a nice fire escape, which was a chute on the north side. We used to have a lot of fun having fire drills at noon hour when we weren't supposed to, shooting down the chute. And the next one below that is probably the most important house of all, the outhouse. Sometimes in the wintertime we had to make steps over a snowdrift uh, and down the other side to get out to it. And sometimes in the summertime we found black widow spiders in it. So it wasn't the most pleasant house in the world. And the next house is a picture of a side of our house where we live. Next one is a picture of our house out in East Omaha, the first house we had in Omaha. And And the next one is our travel home. We had a lot of good times in that home and took a lot of our grandchildren on camping trips. A lot of these pictures of our camping trips are on slides, so we're available. And the one below that picture of the depot where my father was the first depot agent 
for the Chicago-Milwaukee Railroad, picture of the old train out in front, but the train track wasn't even there when he was an agent and telegrapher there. I guess that's the story of the houses. Well, these are pictures of uh, Grandma Vera and I growing up. Growing up? The first one in the left-hand corner it was just before we were married. I think it was about Christmas time, and we were married the following March. And the one to the right of that was taken over my sister's house on our 25th wedding anniversary. And the one in the bottom left corner was taken on our 60th wedding anniversary. I mean, I'm sorry, our 50th an wedding anniversary. And the one to the right of that was at our 60th. And the one to the right of that was taken quite a few years ago out in front of this house. And the one above that, I don't know how that got in there. Yes, you do. That's a picture of the people advertising cornflakes and post toasties. I don't know who they are. This is Grandma Vera and two of our great-granddaughters, Beth and Taylor. What? Which one have you got? This is a four-generation picture of Grandma Vera, our daughter Joanne, her daughter. Her, her daughter Kelly, and Kelly's daughter Taylor. About 1990. Hmm? 1991. About great-grandmother Vera, our daughter Kay, and her daughter Sherilyn, and her daughter Beth. These are our two great-granddaughters who came up to see me while I was in the hospital. Taylor and Beth. It's on. Grandpa says, sound. <laughs> so here we go. Up in the left-hand corner, we have uh, Cody and Trina and Nick and below that we have Scott and Christy who are the grandparents and on the right of those we have Jack and June who are the great grandparents and on the lower left hand corner we have Vera and Ed who are the great great grandparents and on the other side we have uh, Grandma Allie and Grandpa Chris, who are the great-great-great-grandparents. 
and on the left, right hand corner at the bottom is my mother who would be a great, great, great grandmother. And in the center we have Grandma Waterbury on her 90, 90th birthday, and she would be the great, 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 great grandmother. So that stretches quite a distance, wouldn't you think? Quite a span there. <laughs> Should have had this picture of my mother on there so the ugly one. Well, let's see, here we are again. We left off with the great, 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 great grandparents. Now we're up to five greats. Great, 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 great grandparents. And that's Edwin J. Rathbun and uh, and his wife, Emma, and Grandma Getty down below. I guess that's as far back as we can go with pictures of our greats. Well, it is Friday, the 25th of February, 1994, and it is a cold and windy day here in Omaha, and they've shut down school, and this was the kind of day that when I was little, I was kind of hoping that somehow or another I made it up to Grandpa and Grandma's house because I could go out and uh, do a little shoveling. And when I came in, I know that Grandma would have some of her hot chocolate, and nobody's hot chocolate tastes just like Grandma's hot chocolate. And it was always extra good. And uh, hopefully maybe a couple of the cousins made it over too. And we were kind of hoping that we'd just get snowed in right here at Grandpa and Grandma's house and have to spend the night here. But uh, today, uh, I'm not exactly snowed in, but we're here for the day, and we're going to make a little videotape of uh, uh, Grandpa and Grandma's life, and uh, their moms and dads and grandpas and grandmas, and, and uh, we're looking forward to enjoying the day. Hey, we're, um, here's Grandpa and Grandma, and... Uh, Ed and Vera Nielsen and uh, we're going to start here with Grandpa today and what we're going to do is we're just going to have Grandpa tell us about uh, his uh, mom and dad and uh, anything that he can remember at all about his grandparents. So uh, Grandpa, why don't you take it away? Okay. My father came here from Denmark in 1888 and uh, and he was 17 years old. He ended up on a, out of Washington, Nebraska, which is about 20 miles north of Omaha. And his older brother, Nels Pete, had already come over here from Denmark. So he, that's where my dad landed. And he worked on farms and different jobs 
until they got a, enough money to, to start a butcher shop in a little town of Washington. I also had a dray business, <coughs> which consisted of a team of horses and a lumber wagon to haul heavy stuff back from the depot to stores and and private homes if they had something shipped in. It was too heavy for them to haul. And uh, on June the 12th, 1907, he married my mother, Allie Waterbury, who lived in Omaha. <clears throat> and I was born uh, 4th of April, 1908. Grandpa, do you, do you know anything about how, uh, how your mom and dad met? No, I really don't. Hmm. I suppose I did know it one time, but they surely must have talked about it sometime when I was around there. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know just how that came about. Anyhow, <clears throat> I was born in a little white house there in Washington, which was there until about five years ago, and then they tore it down. You were born in 1908? 1908. Mm -hmm. And um, each of my father's brothers would go together and send enough money, like my dad and his older brother, they earned enough money to send over to bring the next older brother over. So there were four of them over here. One of them never did come over. He stayed over in Denmark. What was his name? Peter. Peter. The other two brothers, Nels Marinus was the oldest. And Nels, uh, well, Nels Pete was the oldest, and Nels Marinus was the next one, and Anton was the one, the other one. Was he just younger than your dad then? Pardon? Was he just younger than your dad, Aunt yeah. Rena? Then there was a sister too, <clears throat> Anna. He was a she lived there in Washington. Her Could husband had a blacksmith shop. His Could name was Soren Rosenkilde. Uh -huh. And her name was Katrina? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. her to you. This is uh, Vera, and uh, I call her Grandma, and uh